I'm almost out of your way. Are you? I'm gonna need the. So you're not grunting. Gonna need the old sequelizer. And some air. Oh, there we go. All right. Shark release. There we go. Oh look. See, you asked when you received. Perfect. Hey guys, it's Captain Scott Walker in the Blue TV. I'm gonna take a few minutes to show you how we travel. It may help you out one day when you're making your travel plans for a distant, far away location. It's really easy for us to fish into the blue in the Keys because we live there. The boat's there, every, our tackle's there. But we're gonna be traveling to a new location. For instance, we're in Galveston, Texas for the first time. I've never been here, and there's a lot of things you gotta check off the list before you leave the house. This trip started months ago with location, uh, and acquisition, and boats. We weren't able to bring our into blue boat this time, so we had to first off find a boat to use. You, for you all, you see, it's a matter of checking the local charter boats out and making your arrangements that way. So when you get here, your charter boat's already secured. Always do it months in advance because it's a busy time for all the guys. And if you think you're gonna show up a week before and get the boat you want, probably not gonna happen. So first, my best advice is wherever you travel, take the time to pre-think about what you're gonna do. You're gonna snorkel, you're gonna go fishing, all those things are gonna be booked in advance and the, the earlier the better. We've taken the time in advance to find a location to, for this ship. We chose Galveston Yacht Basin because it's close to everything, our hotels, food, and fishing. We also took the time to find a local guide. We have a boat provided to us by Yellowfin, but it's not our own, so it doesn't have any tackle on it. So we hired a local guy with his own tackle besides what I brought myself. I, now that we're with Daiwa, I had all my Daiwa reels ready to go and my rods packed, but that's all I had. I can't bring knives, pliers, and all the terminal tackle required for a day's fishing. So we had to rely heavily on our guide's boat to help us out to make sure that our product to you looked seamless. It's so nice to have a West Marine nearby anywhere we fish for the last minute details of something we forgot. Maybe we don't have the right uh, safety equipment. We might need one more life jacket. We might need some terminal tackle. All those things are provided by our local West Marines and this one in Galveston was only moments away. For instance, my trip to Galveston started meeting the transport driver with our boat. We got the boat launched and brought it um, sight unseen right to our new slip. Find out we didn't have enough dock lines. So a quick trip to get some dock lines. Uh, we have a nice storage facility here I wasn't even expecting. I thought I was gonna take my rods back and forth to the room every night. Needed a padlock. All the little things I needed were just moments away. A quick Uber ride to West Marine. I was back and then the boat's tied up properly. Uh, my, my rod and tackle is secured properly and safely. And anything else during the rest of the week, just make a little list so that you only have to go one time. I mean, if we're from out of town, we did have a rental car, but if I needed Uber, you don't want to be doing that all day. So just take take the time to walk through your walk through the whole scenario of the day. The boat's in the water, is it tied up right? Is it have the right amount of fenders? What's the tide going to be? And then go off to the tackle, then off to the safety equipment. And then when that list is ready, quick trip over to West Marine, and boom, we're ready to fish for an entire week in a new in a brand new location. Now me and Steve fish all the time, but we fish the way we fish with the tackle that we like to use. We get to Galveston, it's a whole new world to us. Even though we can hold our own, the rigs are a little bit different, the hooks are a little bit different, the rigging style is a little bit different. And if we didn't have the right hook sets for what the locals are using, again, your local uh, West Marine has everything specific to that area, plus even more. So it was really easy for us to get the correct size leads, the correct hooks for this uh, area, and, off, and have a really successful fishing trip. For this trip to Calveston, we were able to de debut our new Daiwa tackle. Uh, we had a variety of spinning and conventional rods and with matching spinner and conventional reels. Um, we were set with Daiwa braid and Daiwa fluorocarbon. The particular, our favorite setup, as always, is a spinning reel, and we set ourselves up with the Daiwa Saltiste 8,000s and 10,000s loaded with 30 pound braid on seven foot spinning poles. And then we had a couple of high speed conventional reels filled with 40 pound and on six foot six dark water rod series. We had a perfect balance of our reels. Steve loves a spinning reel and he, his go to was a seven foot uh, rod with an 8,000 series packed full of 30 pound. And every fish he encountered, he was able to battle and defeat with this, one of the smaller uh, outfits we even brought. 
I was messing around with some heavier stuff. So the big 130 liters and the, the high speed 25 uh, two speed reels so that I could get, get into a bruising battle with sharks and amberjacks in case uh, they, they were to show up and they did. I started off with a little bit lighter stuff, I finished with the heavy stuff, and after I switched, um, I started to win all my battles with the fish. But for just traveling purposes, I brought four, four spinners, four conventionals, eight rods, and it was easy traveling to the airport with that setup, and I still feel like there was no fish that we couldn't encounter that we couldn't beat.